Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Good evening folks and welcome to Alien Addict. Now, if you saw my last video, if you if you were lucky enough to see my, if you've not seen the last video, then just go watch my last video before you watch this video, just so I can get some more views. Um, but yeah, the last video was Secure Team, it was titled Secure Team 10, Back for Christmas, very much a, a clickbait video, you know, I thought, let's, let's just do it, you know, bring some new views to the channel and uh, I kind of it was a clickbait video and I kind of thought you know what this could happen but I didn't think it would happen but it did happen if you class the 27th I still class the 27th of December as Christmas guys you know Christmas Christmas starts you know what in, in March now and it, it ends you know on the the 31st but um, yes if you think this video is going to be a uh, secure team 10 hate video you'll be very much wrong um, but if you also think it's going to be all for secure team 10 uh, you will also be wrong I'm going to play um, devil's avocado so I got the news on the 24th at 8 a.m. in the morning from a um, a friend of mine, a friend of the channel, Osvaldo Franco. I do interviews with him. He's a ufologist and he does a lot of research. And he sent me the pictures uh, that everybody's seen of Tyler. And I said to my wife, I said, "Wow, if you know this is this is bad stuff that's going on in this guy's life right now." I said, if I do a video on this, I'll get loads of views. You know, I'm trying to get out of my day job. I could really kind of, you know, what was the old saying when you when you get on the back of somebody else's misfortune? I can't remember the saying. I could have done that, um, and and a lot of people, a lot of you may be thinking right now, well. You, you're doing that now maybe I am I don't know I'll probably decide that after the video when I, when I look at the uh, like to dislike ratio and uh, make sure you film this video up um, yeah so I, I could have made that video f probably f first before anybody else uh, I, I think I was about 12 hours ahead of anybody that did a video uh, about that I decided not to do it just because I'm an absolutely spiffing fellow um, and no but I, I just it's not my place the guy and I, I said this to a few of the youtubers the guy has um, I think he's, I think he's got a, a, a young a young boy you know he'll be at school his friends may show him these videos that have been done about his dad and what's going on, this, that, and the other. Um, I don't think his wife would need to hear any more about what's going on. Uh, his friends, his family. It, it, I didn't feel like it was my place to speak about it. But everybody's speaking about it now. So I am speaking about it. But I'm going to give you my views on it. And a lot of you may not like it. but And a lot of friends of mine that have other channels probably won't like it but I will say this to your faces and, and I have and I'm, I'm making a video about it if I don't always look at the camera by the way I'm being blinded by blinded by the light um, but yeah I've got shit to say so as some of you may know uh, Tyler and myself have been speaking on Twitter now for about just over a year and we started out, we argued a little bit, and now we're all right. I actually messaged him the other day after all this had happened and said, I, I hope you're okay. I hope, I hope you get through this. Um, but I am gonna be honest about the video that you put out, Tyler. I have to be, otherwise I wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be alien addict. I wouldn't be the person that my channel has. I wouldn't be the, the person my channel's made. 
I'm not, I'm not going to get the words out, so I'm not even going to try. But yeah, the video you put out, in my opinion, was pure bullshit. Um, also, the men in black um, are the people up high. If they want to shut you down, they will shut you down like that. There is no question. You'll be gone. It's just, I'll be gone. Any, if they wanted anybody gone, you'd be gone. So it's not that. I, I, I understand why you did the video you did. I just think it was very stupid. And it's good that you've deleted the video. Um, but you've, you've, I mean, you've got over 2 million subscribers. There's probably a lot of those subscribers that, that buy the BS. You know, they, 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 they will support you no matter what. Um, I've spoke to you on a personal level. I think you, you are a nice person, deep down. I think you are. I think you, you are a completely different person on your YouTube channel. As are many YouTubers. Um, but... You want my advice? You probably don't. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you it anyway. One, you come on Alien Addict. You do an interview here, because that will grow my channel, and I'm a selfish little turnip. Um, but I do think that it would be good for you to actually speak to somebody. Maybe not me. Go on Third Phase of Moon. Talk to them. You know, let let people see. The real you. That's what I think you need to do. Let people see the real you. Because, you know, live with somebody asking the questions. And just let them ask away. Two, you know, this will, this will all blow over at some point. So... If you just leave it, you probably lose. My caterpillar's fallen off. One minute. You'll probably lose some subscribers and, and this, that, and the other, but you'll you'll recover from that, you know? Um, I'm not condoling what's been reported on and what you've been accused of by any means. Um, I've lost two very very i've lost my best friend when i was 24 years old uh, in a car accident i've lost two other friends in car accidents um i've also you know i've had friends that have had marital problems um and you know i i, I think if there's been any sort of violence in a relationship whether it be towards the man, the woman, both, you know, it's 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 not good and it should never happen. Um, but these things happen in life. Um, I, I just think it's nobody else's business but your own. And that is why I didn't make a video on it. I, I kind of said to a lot of other people, you know, maybe we should think about your family, think about your little boy at school. It's not our business to speak about this. And again, people will be like, why, this this guy with a cockle on his head, um, it, he's speaking about it now, he's a hypocrite. But I feel like I need to speak about it now because people are asking me to do it and you know, it's a follow up from the last video I did. It's a clickbait video, it'll get me some views, this, that, and the other. Whatever reason you want to think I'm doing this, guys, is is your your reasoning. But my real reason for doing this is I think we should start to not always just jump on somebody as soon as we hear that the shit's hit the fan, you know. Some people I can see some people are absolutely delighted with this information. Some people are on top of the world. They think it's marvelous. You know, I, I don't for one second 
I emailed Third Phase Moon the other day, and I, you know, I said that this was going to happen before it happened. Um, I said this is going to, the shit's going to hit the fan, um, but I ain't going to do anything on the video about the situation I am now because I think people need to calm down I think people need to lay off Tyler and this is not me being like some sort of secure team 10 little bitch uh, and you know ass licking Tyler or anything like that this is me saying leave the guy alone I think he's been through enough I think his his channel has you know whether it survives or not who knows it it probably will you know i hope it will it you know it makes money for his family uh i i wouldn't want to take that away from anybody yeah he's, he's done some bullshit videos in the past and i've called him out many people have called him out on it but this is his personal life now and this is it, this is kind of the lowest somebody possibly gets I'm sure whatever happened, he regrets doing, you know, and whether whether it was because he was under the influence or anything like that, you know, he may have not even have, have done what he's been accused of. We don't know what happens behind closed doors. We really don't. So I think until, you know, unless you're sat in a court of law, are you one of the neighbours that knows what's going on? Then stay out of it. Because you don't know the full information. You probably can't take me seriously because I've got this cock on my head. But, you know, I feel like I need it right now. Because it's a very serious video. So I need a little bit of humour. But yeah, I, that's kind of what I wanted to say. It's not really, this video's not going anywhere. I'm just, I just wanted to say, guys, of, this, is, this is mainly for other YouTubers. Leave him alone. Just let the guy be. Let him sort his shit out. Let him come back. Jump on him if he does some bullshit video. I've never been one. For speaking about, and, and I know loads of shit on loads of YouTubers that I talk to, and, and if I wanted to, I could I could speak about it. But I've never been one to do that because I've always thought people make mistakes. You know, I know a, a few tuber, tubers, YouTubers, a lot of friends that have made many mistakes in the past. I've got friends that have done stuff that you know they they regret so much. And if they could do anything to take it back, they would do. But I don't think that he... One minute. I, I don't think if he was in the right frame of mind that any of this would have happened. I think, and I said this in the last video, I think something... Well, I said I think something's very wrong in Tyler's life right now, and that's why he's not making these videos. Um, he did tell me a while back that um, about these documentaries that he's working on, uh, so that is true. He did tell me about family members passing away. Never told me who it was, so you know who knows. Um, but again, it's his private life. I don't really think we need to justify to to you guys what we do in our private life as. In YouTube, as YouTubers, you know, we don't need to. It's our private life. So, yeah, it's a bit of a weird. Bit. I'm not changing that again. That's just gone. You know that that ship has sailed. To cut a long story short, guys, I'm not going to go on about this much longer. I think he's made some big mistakes. Um, it's been a fool. He's tried to cover it up. We don't believe it. But at the end of the day, he's probably going through hell. So I don't think rubbing more negativity his way is, I don't think it's a nice thing to do. 
So, I'd rather wish the guy well. And I hope he gets through it. I hope his family get through what's going on. I hope he gets better. And if it is the if it is the men in black, then I best be careful. You know, because I'm next. Because I've definitely got some skeletons lying about in my closet. Anyway, guys, so. We're, we're, we're just coming into the new year. Maybe I'm, I hope I get this out before the new year. Uh, I've got to edit it yet. Um, but there's going to be some good stuff happening on the channel. Hopefully we will get Tyler Glockner on this channel. Uh, from from Secure Team 10 if you don't know who that is. Because you know who that is. And Tyler, maybe we can have a beer together. Um, maybe not actually. Yeah. Um, uh, third phase of Moon coming on the channel I don't know if you guys have it do you drink but it'd be nice to have it have a you know maybe a glass of wine together third phase um my 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 voice is just gonna go any minute I, I, I know I sound a bit gruff as my wife probably likes this she probably thinks I sound sexy because normally I sound like a child and yeah the interviews I want to get done in the new year, I want to start talking to people that have had experiences with the people who think they've maybe been been abducted, people who have seen UFOs, people that keep being visiting, keep keep visiting UFOs, keep getting visited by not UFOs because they wouldn't be unidentified, visited by the little green men. Uh, probably do some more TTSA videos where we discuss what's going on there because that's that's kind of gone a bit a little bit quiet but I'm, I've got a little bit of a sneaky feeling that it's going to perk back up again and there's going to be some big stuff happening uh, next year in ufology <clears throat> I need to go because I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my voice any moment guys I am alien addict hit that like button share this video out or share, share some old interviews out or something. Just share the stuff. I need your support. If if you are um, a big fan of the channel, then feel free to come on the Patreon page. I try and get as much on there as I possibly can. I mainly concentrate on here and Patreon. I don't do much on any other social media platform. Um, but thanks for watching the videos, guys. And thanks for all the, the, the massive subscribers, the support for the channel. It means the world to me because eventually, one day, I'll get out of the day job. And I'll be doing this full time and I will travel. Believe you me, I will travel the world if I'm doing this full time. I want myself to Egypt and get myself into a, a, a pyramid. No, Antarctic, that's where I'll go, I promise. I'll get my warmest clothes on, I'll go to the Antarctic, and I'll tell you what, if I do go to the Antarctic, and this is for all my Flat Earth fans out there, I'll be peering over the edge and taking a photograph. Good night, God bless, I'm Alien Addict, mind the bugs, don't bite.